everyone. Well, I feel like my voice is cracking. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Wendy and I have a special guest. Do you know her? It's Navarose. Hi! If you don't know Navarose, now you do. She does amazing sewing tutorials on YouTube. Very cute fashion, giving you all sorts of BTS fangirl oh. action as well. Wendy's a new BTS army. <laughs> I'm like recruiting. I've been inducted. <laughs> Rapid fire. <laughs> My little brother, who's actually a fan, will be like, what? No. <laughs> We're doing a challenge today. We're starting with the same thing, and then you're going to mm -hmm. see our different styles. Navarro's, she's got her matching set. She's got her tight fits. She's got, I don't, the adjective you used is crazy. Really? There's like insta baddie. Yes. That's like a safe, I say safe term. Insta. I was like, I don't know, like, I don't know what kind of audience. <laughs> Anyways, she looks good and fierce. Aww. And I'm going to just be doing my, like, comfy, cozy Canadian look because it is going to start being cold where I live. So we're both starting with Ikea. 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 Blankets. Yay! We went to Ikea. We both picked out our blankets. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh! Eee, it's a pink blanket. It's so cute. <laughs> I feel like it's definitely a throw blanket because it's very thick. <laughs> There's yeah. some fringies. Yeah, some fringies. So I might use the fringies somehow. And mine is also fringy. Fringy. It is Ophelia. Come on, very Ophelia. Thick and plush. Hopefully will make me into a super huggable person. We are going to start sewing. Mm -hmm. And you will get to see me transform this on this channel. And then if you want to see her rendition of the Ikea throw blanket transformation, you can check it out there. Obviously, if you want to try this, you don't have to buy a brand new blanket. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you probably already have more than enough throw blankets at home. And then lastly, the only thing I want to address is... <laughs> this is one thing that is, like, not really thought about as, like, a DIYer going to collab. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I need a sewing machine. <laughs> so we're going to unbox with you Nava's... Grandma's, yeah. Ooh. May she give us the sewing powers. Energy. Oh, Whoa. oh, it's a singer. Stick around until the end. I hope you enjoy. Yay. Okay, we had a lot of giggles to get out because it was our first time filming together, but here is the material that I'm working with. It is the IKEA throw blanket called Ophelia. It is white fluffy so I'm hoping it can make something real cute and cozy. Honestly it felt like we were two kids hanging out doing arts and crafts. I definitely did a lot of this growing up and it was kind of cute to do it as an adult. To make the sweater symmetrical I folded the sweater in half down the middle and lined that up with the folded fabric. That way I only need to cut out one half and when I unfold it it's the entire thing. I am skipping the sleeves so that I can make this a drop shoulder sweater. So from the side of the body we practically just keep going straight up to the shoulder point and then follow the sweater all the way back to the neck hole. We're gonna do that again for the back also a symmetrical piece so folding the sweater in half and folding Holding the fabric in half. And finally for the sleeves you will need one for each arm and then these pieces should be symmetrical to each other so I flip the sleeve over to capture the front and the back of it and I cut that through two layers so that it is both sleeves done symmetrical to each other. Now is the first time I get to try out Nava's auntie's old singer machine. This came in clutch. It was perfect. I had to do a little bit of fabric wrestling but was mostly able to get it through and honestly it is a bit gratifying whenever you're able to use whatever sewing machine you're given because the mechanics of them are generally quite similar. I sewed the shoulders right sides together and now I'm bringing over the sleeve so I can sew them right sides together with the armholes. Obviously you're going to need to do that for both of the sleeves and that will create a poncho version of your sweater since the bottom is completely unfinished. Uh, it will also create a giant mess of fluff if you are using a material like mine. If you look closely, you may catch Nava's robot vacuum behind me. With everything right sides together on the ground, I line up the sleeves and the sides and then sew these with a straight stitch. As always, starting in the armpit, going down the sleeve and then back to the armpit and go down the body and try not to drown in the fluff. Time to try it on and never let this shirt be black again. It's gonna be so much light. 
Okay, I said time to try it on, but I'm not done yet. I still wanted to add these sleeve things. I'm hot already. Okay, I need to make the neck hole a little bit smaller. This is the band that was holding the blanket when I purchased it, and I think what I need to do is utilize its firm structure in juxtaposition to the stretchiness of this. I'm gonna use it to line the neck hole in the front so that it stays locked. So I'm just gonna fold over and hem these edges to finish them off and then sew it to the front. Here it is. I have sewn this edge to the rim of the front collar so that I can flip it over and sew it down and it is providing stability. Cause see here, this is just chaotic and we just need, we need that stable friend, you know? The rock, may it be this band. <laughs> Adding that extra band of stability actually worked really well. So here's me cutting out a couple more pieces so that I could also do it along the back of the neck hole. Sun is setting. We've come out here to shoot you our looks. Nava's getting her fancy cam. Thankfully not as hot as it was earlier. Honestly, yeah. I would have died. All the oil blotting sheets in the world would not have saved me. that we did in Yay. three hours? I don't know, what, what time, time is, is it? it? Yeah, like three, three four hours. Yeah. Incredible! Wow, fast uh, this is the world ever. I know, actually, <laughs> I'm kind of shaken by this whole thing. If you want to see how Nava's turned out, I'll put the link in the description for you. It is definitely super different in style, but so great. Give her a subscribe, show her some love, and if you want to see any more of us, yeah. you can subscribe, you know what to do. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.